Hi everybody, welcome to Shai's Asana and welcome to your feel good flow. Today our mats are our sanctuaries. We are just going to let everything go, enjoy, really dig deep in our bodies and breathe and just find that time to be with ourselves and really just process and let our bodies be free. All right, so to get started, just take a seat on the mat, any position you would like, and allow your hands to fall down, maybe resting on your kneecaps, perhaps just on your thighs. Close your eyes. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And exhale through your nose. Inhale. Exhale, going deeper, inhale, exhale, check in with how you feel right now. Maybe set an intention as you continue to breathe. Maybe that intention can just be to really allow yourself to be present in the moment on your mat while you move and you breathe today. Or maybe your intention can be something else but just really allowing yourself to find that space for yourself, that time, that place, giving yourself this moment. On your next inhale, open your eyes. Move up onto your hands and come to your knees. So, in a kneeling position, I want you to extend your left leg out to the side. You're resting on your right knee. Inhale as you bring your arms overhead and then stretch your left hand down onto the left leg and pull that right arm up and over, finding a side stretch and gate pose. Hold it here as you continue to breathe. Inhale and exhale, maybe going a little deeper. Inhale. Open your heart, open your chest. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, release your hands down. And now bringing your right hand down to the mat, lift your left arm overhead, stretching to the other side. Beautiful. Perhaps looking up at the ceiling or maybe looking straight ahead. Keep breathing as you find that long stretch, really reaching those fingertips to the side of the room. Inhale. And exhale, inhale, exhale, come back up to center, release your hands and bring both knees down. Now let's move to the other side, extending your right leg out to the right. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, drape that right hand down onto the right leg and pull the left arm up and over to the other side, finding that side stretch. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, maybe going deeper, and exhale, one more inhale, exhale, come back to center, release now your left hand down to the mat as you stretch that right arm up and over, and then pulling that to the side, finding that long side stretch, and either looking forward with your gaze or looking up, really finding that length from your toe tips to your fingertips. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale and exhale. Lift your torso up, release your arms down, bring both knees to the mat. Bring your hands to the back of your hips and push them into your hips as if you were planting your hands in jeans pockets. Push those hips forward, open the chest up, really broaden the shoulders, look up. I'm gonna take a gentle back bend here, really easy camel, just breathe. Don't focus on going any deeper than this. Inhale, exhale, one more inhale, exhale, lift the torso back up. Now turn to face the long edge of your mat. Place your hands on the mat, coming into a tabletop position. Knees or hips with distance. Hips are stacked over knees and shoulders are over wrists. Drop your belly for cow. And then round your spine as you exhale for cat. Inhale, take cow. 
Exhale, cat around the spine, look down at the navel. Come to a neutral spine and start to walk your hands out on the mat in front of you, keeping those hips stacked over the knees, lowering your forearms to the mat when you feel the need, and then bringing your forehead down, coming into puppy pose, getting that chest even closer to the mat, moving into your upper back, again, broadening through the shoulders, trying to think of bringing your armpits down to touch the mat. Maybe you can even bring your chin down to the mat. Keep breathing. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. Then gently push your forehead into the mat. Lift up your elbows. Now really put the weight into your hands so you can lift your forehead up and walk your hands back towards your body. Turn your toes together, open the knees up, send the hips back and down on top of the heels, and now walk your hands back out as you lower your torso to the mat, coming into child's pose. Take a couple deep breaths here. On your next inhale, move up into tabletop again. Make sure those knees are hips width distance, tuck the toes under, Push the feet into the mat as you lift the kneecaps up and then send the hips up and back, coming into your first downward facing dog. Let's walk the dog, bend the right knee, and then the left. Keep that breath flowing. Bend the right knee, bend the left, and the right, and the left. Now lengthen both heels towards the mat. Roll forward, coming into high plank position. And now lower your forearms onto the mat, coming into forearm plank. Keep one long line from the top of your head to your heels. Engage that core, pull the belly in. Building a little heat, keep breathing. And now from here, start to walk the feet in a little bit. So you come into your dolphin pose like downward dog, but we've got our forearms on the mat. Try to really push the toes and set your hips back and up a little further like you would in down dog and try to release those heels towards the mat. Keep breathing, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, release the knees to the mat, open them up, untuck the toes, send the hips back and down, child's pose. Beautiful, breathe. On your next inhale, move up into tabletop position. Tuck the toes under, send the hips up and back as you come into downward facing dog. Let the head go, maybe nod yes or no a few times. Beautiful. Now shorten the dog a little bit. Walk your hands back about half a hand length. And from here, really push your hips up and back and then pick up your right hand, cross it up to the other side of your body so you can reach it around, grabbing the left ankle. Maybe you can pull your head through underneath that left armpit and look up at the ceiling, finding a little side stretch, a little twist, pulling very strongly with your right hand as you pull yourself even deeper into this twist. And then release the right hand to the mat. Let's do the other side. Cross that left hand over to the right ankle and try to pull yourself through, pulling your head through, pulling your torso through underneath that right armpit, looking up at the ceiling perhaps. Continuing to breathe. and release that hand. From here, just lower your forearms onto the mat, right where your hands were, coming back into dolphin pose. Beautiful. Allowing those heels to drape down towards the mat. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale, lower the knees onto the mat. Lift your elbows up, coming into tabletop, 
And now again, walking the hands forward, coming into puppy pose again, bringing the forehead down to the mat, opening the chest up, perhaps bringing the chin down to the mat, getting the chest even closer to the ground. Continue to breathe, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, push your forehead into the mat to lift your elbows up. Really root down with those hands now as you lift your forehead and walk your hands back into tabletop position. Tuck the toes under, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, move forward to plank. Exhale, bend your elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, take cobra or up dog, back bend of choice. Exhale as you move those hips up and back, downward facing dog. Bend the knees deeply, look forward in between your hands, step or gently hop to the top of the mat and take a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise to stand with a flat back as your arms come overhead. Exhale, release your arms by your sides. Beautiful, inhale as your arms come overhead. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold, plant the palms, step to the back of the mat, taking your high plank, hold on your inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, shoot those hips up and back, tuck the toes and come into downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale as you look forward in between your hands, bend your knees, lift your heels, step or hop to the top of your mat on your exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Arms come overhead for Urdhva Hasta Tadasana. Exhale, release your arms by your sides. So good. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, sit your hips back and down, coming into chair. Lift up your right leg, keeping that right knee bent. Cross the right ankle on top of your left knee. So you're coming into a figure four chair. Find your balance here as you wrap your ribs in and point that tailbone down. Getting deep, getting into our hips, getting strong in our core. Hold it here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale as you uncross that leg and step the right foot to the back of the mat coming into your high crescent lunge. Keeping that left knee bent. You're on the ball of your back foot. Hold it here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, open up to warrior two. Spinning that back heel down, arms come to a T. Gaze is over the left fingertips and check if you've got heel to arch alignment. Beautiful, inhale. Let's reverse the warrior. Flip the left palm up, lower the right hand onto the right leg, left arm up overhead as you come into your back bend. And then come back up into warrior two. Let's do that again. Flip the left palm, reverse the warrior. And then come back up into warrior two. One more time, flip the left palm, reverse the warrior. And then warrior two. Spin both hands down to the mat as you pivot onto the ball of your back foot, coming into your low lunge. And now planting the palm, step the left foot to the back of the mat, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Bend the knees, look forward, step or hop to the top of the mat on your exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise to stand, arms come overhead. Exhale, release those arms by your sides. Inhale, arms overhead. Sit your hips back and down, chair pose. Shifting the weight into the right leg now, lift up your left leg, keeping that left knee bent, cross that left ankle on top of your right knee for figure four chair. Wrap the ribs in, point the tailbone down. Stay strong, get grounded. Inhale. And exhale, inhale, exhale, maybe sinking deeper, inhale. Now exhale, uncross the leg as you step that left foot to the back of the mat, high crescent lunge, right knee's bent, you're on the ball of your back foot, arms remain lifted overhead, gaze is forward, feeling strong here, inhaling and exhaling.
inhale and exhale one more inhale here exhale open up into warrior two arms coming to a T back heel lowers check for that heel to arch alignment and then gaze out in front of you over those right fingertips really rooting down through both of your feet here pressing all of your toes and both of your heels into the mat let's reverse it flip the right palm up lower the left hand down as you lift the right arm up overhead coming into the back bend and then come back up into warrior two so beautiful flip the right palm reverse the warrior inhale exhale back up to warrior two beautiful flip the palm reverse the warrior on your inhale and exhale into warrior two spin both heel, spin both hands down to the mat framing your right foot as you come into the ball of your left foot and then step the right foot back to meet your left hold your high plank on your inhale exhale chaturanga inhale take the back bend cobra or up dog exhale as you shoot those hips up and back bring the heels down to the mat downward facing dog bend your knees look forward step or hop to the top of the mat as you forward fold on your exhale inhale halfway lift exhale fold inhale rise to stand arms come overhead exhale arms come down by your sides inhale arms overhead exhale hinge folding forward inhale halfway lift exhale fold plant the palms step the feet to the back of the mat take your high plank exhale chaturanga inhale cobra or up dog exhale shoot those hips up and back downward facing dog inhale lift the right leg up behind you bend the right knee and move it forward bringing the right knee in between your hands and then set it down lower your left knee onto the mat coming into pigeon pose first walk your hands back to lift your torso up find a little bit of a back bend here really try to push maybe your fingertips into the mat as you lift the torso maybe lift the gaze hold it here inhale and exhale inhale try to square off those hips exhale maybe pushing a little deeper moving even deeper into that back bend exhale one more breath here inhale now on your exhale start to walk your fingertips forward folding over that bent knee maybe your forehead comes down to the mat just go to where it feels good in your body finding that stretch keeping the hips square so nice take a couple more breaths here on your next inhale start to lift your head walk your hands back framing your knee tuck the left toes under and lift the left kneecap up now really push the hands into the mat as you lift your right kneecap up and shoot that right foot back to the back of the mat taking high plank exhale chaturanga inhale cobra or up dog exhale tuck the toes shoot those hips up and back downward facing dog straight over to the other side lift the left leg up behind you bend the left knee bring that left knee in between your hands set it down lower your right knee untuck your right toes coming into your pigeon pose with your torso lifted to start walk your hands back slightly keeping your hips square try to find a back bend here really opening the chest opening the heart looking up inhale and exhale inhale and exhale keep going inhale exhale one more breath here inhale and exhale now start to walk those fingertips forward folding over your left knee keeping those hips square reaching those arms out in front of you bowing down allowing the hips to open and release continue to send that breath gently through your body taking long slow deep inhales and just as long slow exhales one more inhale and exhale on your next inhale lift your forehead start to walk your hands back framing that left knee tuck your right toes under as you lift the right kneecap up 
push your hands into the mat to lift your torso further and then lift that left knee up shoot the left foot to the back of the mat taking high plank exhale chaturanga inhale cobra or up dog exhale shooting the hips up and back as you come into your downward facing dog beautiful inhale exhale hold here inhale through your nose exhale sigh it out inhale through your nose exhale big sigh through your mouth and then lower your knees to the mat open them up a little wider send the toes together and lower those hips onto the heels reach the arms out in front of you child's pose beautiful on your next inhale move all the way forward onto your bellies keeping your arms by your sides now reach those arms behind you kick your heels into your hips and now reach back with one arm and then maybe the other trying to wrap your hands around your ankles on your inhale start to lift your head up lift your chest lift your shoulders kick those feet into your hands as you lift the kneecaps lift the thighs coming into your bow pose really lift as you breathe inhale and exhale hold it lift higher inhale and exhale one more breath inhale maybe come up higher exhale release letting go of your feet tuck your toes under push your hands into the mat shift everything up and back coming into downward facing dog beautiful inhale and exhale inhale through your nose through your mouth inhale through your nose exhale big sigh lower your knees down open them up a little wider send the toes together hips come down onto the heels child's pose so beautiful come up into tabletop cross the ankles behind you walk your hands back send your hips down onto the mat behind your feet then come into the middle of the mat and roll down onto your back bend both knees and then bring your right knee in towards your chest open it out to the right cross the right ankle on top of the left knee either stay here and continue on just pushing that right hand into your right knee to open your hip and find some space here otherwise reach your hands through to frame your left leg and lift the left foot up off the mat bringing this entire shape in towards your torso now you can grasp your hands together underneath your left thigh or you can wrap them around your left calf you can lift your head briefly to get the gra the grasp but then lower your head back down onto the mat flex your right foot get deep into those hips try to really root down with your back everything is grounded and flat make sure you're not arching your spine or lifting at the base of your spine neck is long just breathe inhaling and exhaling inhale and exhale one more inhale exhale release your hands from around the shape lowering the left heel to the mat keeping your shape of your legs as it is and then opening your arms to the sides either out to a T or in a cactus position now from here drape the shape of your legs down to the left so that the right foot comes to the mat or to the floor the sole of your right foot comes to the floor you'll feel a stretch here in your outer right hip maybe you can actually reach forward with your left fingertips and gently push that right knee up towards the ceiling even more to get a little deeper into the hips there inhale and exhale inhale and exhale one more inhale here on your exhale if you've been reaching your left fingertips forward grab your right knee if you haven't grabbed your right knee yet please reach your hand up and do so so left hand is on your right knee now pull the right knee down towards the mat so that the inside of the shin comes down but your right heel is still hooked on top of your left knee 
Now it's turning into a spinal twist rather than a hip opener. Try to melt the right shoulder blade down onto the mat. Continue to breathe. Now release your right knee. Open your left hand to the left. Stack your right uh, shin on top of your left shin. And now simply bring that shape back to center. You should have both knees bent, both soles of your feet on the mat. From here, lift the left foot up. Bring that left knee in towards your chest. Reach forward and then push the left knee open to the side so you can bring the left ankle on top of the right knee. Maybe you just stay here working on pushing that left knee open, opening the left hip. Maybe you want to go a little further, framing your hands around your right thigh, picking up the right foot, bringing the shape in towards your chest, maybe grabbing under the thigh or around the right shin. Remembering to really melt that back onto the ground, flex your left foot and just breathe. From here, release your hands from around your leg. Allow the right foot to come back down and open your arms now to a T or to a cactus shape. Drape the shape of your legs down to the right. The sole of the left foot comes to the mat. You'll feel a hip stretch in your left hip. Perhaps this is enough for you. Maybe you want to reach forward with your right hand so it comes to the inside of your left knee. You can push that left knee up so it's even facing further towards the ceiling. And then grab the outside of the left knee with your right hand. Pull the left knee down towards the mat, finding a spinal twist. As you try to bring the inside of the left shin towards the mat, while at the same time allowing the left shoulder blade to melt down onto the floor, feeling the spinal twist, allowing yourself to release in this pose. And remove your right hand from your left knee. Stack the left shin on top of the right shin. So you're still twisted, but your legs are on top of each other. And now just untwist by bringing both knees to look up at the ceiling. Come back to the middle of your mat. Bring both of your knees in together towards your knees. And then gently release your legs, extend them long on the mat, open the feet up as wide as the mat, maybe a little bit wider. Hands come down by your sides with the palms facing up. Maybe the hands can be off the mat so you have some space in between your arms and your rib cage. Allow the feet to just flop open naturally. Let them just take their natural shape. Let the neck be long, let the back just settle down, let gravity takes hold and holds you here safe and secure on the mat. Close your eyes and take a few moments to yourself in our final pose, Shavasana.
Gently begin to bring your awareness back into your body, into this moment. Keep your eyes closed, but just examine yourself. Notice the rise and fall of your chest as you inhale and exhale. Notice any want or need you may feel if you move your fingertips and toes, and do so if that is what feels good to you right now. Notice if you're holding any tension in your kneecaps or your shoulders, your neck. Just notice your body. And bend your knees, bring the soles of your feet to the mat. From here, you can either roll to your left side and push yourself up to a seated position, or you can bring those knees in towards your chest, grab underside of your legs, and maybe rock up to a seat. Keeping your eyes closed, coming to a comfortable position on your mat, what feels good for you. Allow your hands to just fall naturally where they do. Allow them to remain there and rest. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Maybe just feeling a sense of gratitude to yourself for giving yourself this time and this space to be with yourself, to examine your body, to feel good, to promote your health, all of these wonderful benefits that come from taking this time. Inhale as you bring your arms overhead, palms come to touch. Exhale, bring this shape down in front of your heart center. And now place one hand on top of your chest and the other hand on top of that hand. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.